All right, and this doll, I don't have any um, holes in her back yet, so I'll end up drilling them in. And so what I'm going to do is actually use a very thin rod to be the whole base of my wings, I believe. And then I'm gonna have it slide into a thicker rod that goes into her back. And so I'll be embedding that into her back that's just, the tube size is just bigger than this. All right, so I'm also just kind of following the shape of what was on this picture where it's gonna be deep inside her and then it's gonna come out and then it kind of comes up and out is the idea with it here. And so then when it comes out of her body, it's gonna be coming up and out to the sides. So I'll just twist that as needed. All right, so I just start with a little drill bit. It's best if you've poked a hole in the doll, like when she's wet before you bake her, with just a wire that's gonna be similar in size to what you're wanting to put in here. But we're gonna do more intense ones this time, but what you wanna do is just, I've taken a piece of epoxy sculpt and I created a, a handle for this. And so you just wanna gently just keep on drilling the hole through the doll till you get it at least a good half to three quarter of an inch inside. And then just, if you need to make it wider than this, slowly move up to the different sizes of drill bits. I'm gonna be embedding these little pieces in her back so that then my wing wires, that are these rod tubes, can just slide right in to it easily just like that. All right, so usually there's only about, oh, let's see, maybe a quarter of an inch to half an inch of clay that's on the surface, and then it's just gonna go ahead and sink in to the foil and such, and so it gets pretty easy to get the hole made. And then next what we wanna do, there's a few little burrs on this tube, so we might have to fix that first. We'll see if it's gonna fit. But we wanna stick our tube in there not sure if it's going to do it with a burr on there or not. Anyway, it's a little tricky to get in there. And I'm going to actually like be tapping it. I've got a little hammer I'm going to use for this instead, but that's the idea. And you just keep tapping it in until it's there. All right, that's how I, I had to pick her up and hold her so I could really support where I was tapping like that. And I got it all the way in this other one. All right, so now those are there. And so that will hold on to these tubes that are going in, just like that. And so now since these move around, if you want the ones that don't move, you can use the square kind. But all we're gonna do to fix this problem is just have a bit of our clay come down and be a support for this as well. But anyway, that's how you can see they'll fit right in. That's how they'll look on her back. You can see, you can kind of get a shape for how the wings will be as well. All right, here are the wing materials I'm looking at, mostly feathers. I've got red and multicolor, kind of brownish, and some black too. I'm also looking at the effect of when I tear tear the wings, I mean tear the feathers, so I can make smaller little feather type things in there too. So that's the plan. What I would like though is some sort of material to kind of be a backing and a base for all of this. And so I'm gonna use some tulle. And I'm just going to, I think, just do one, one piece rather than wrap it around, because I want it to be as thin as possible. But I'm just going to move these out of the way. gonna get this glued really well to this wing and then trim it and I'll show you how that turns out but we'll just take the one little piece and have that be our backing so I have these red feathers too but they're just so bright and then I found these instead check these out see that that's more what we're going for and they're thinner too so that's perfect 
All right, I'm making a big mess. So first I'm gonna get back to this little part here. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, now this is still pretty flexible. If you want to use just a wire, you could do that, but I, I wanted them to be kind of sturdy because I wasn't sure how heavy they're gonna end up being. I know it's still just wings, but this seems more like a, a bird bone to me. Anyway, so I need to get this glue in. I was also gonna try just the Aline's Fast Grab, but I'm not seeing mine right at the moment. Okay, it kinda takes a minute to get the stuff to come down. There we go. Then we're gonna take our piece of tall. We just wanna make sure that it's gonna fit the whole way. Ish. Mine's not fitting so great right here though. All right, when you cut your piece, give yourself plenty of space. I don't know why mine is so close to the edge there. It makes it trickier. Okay. I mean, if you can get the top to wrap around, that's probably a good idea. But then I'm just gonna kinda go like this. Just kinda trimming off this extra. And down here, just a little bit more shaping. All right, so repeat that for both wings. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue and press it in really well and then let it dry. I'll try this again with a bigger sheet. I'll show you how easy it can be. There we go. And then I found it's fine to just have just a little bit wrap around. So you can just do like this. All right, and then I'm just gonna bend it all around like that. You can even add a little more glue if you want to. This is how it looks when it's finished here. You essentially just wanna have some backing to be able to add the feathers to. So I put a lot of glue on this already just because I want to be able to uh, just glue it on as I go. And since this kind of glue, it kind of stays sticky for a while. So even as, as it's drying, we're gonna be good. So I'm just gonna start placing on some feathers. I got some bend going on on that one. Oh, look at that. these red ones. Let's see, before we do that, I think I'm gonna put another one of these in here. I 
sure I like the thin ones better. I think what I want to do is have some of these. There's a good one. Just kind of down deep inside here. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of layers here, so I'm not gonna refine it too much yet. 